Hey guys, what is up? It is Sarah. I just got like a cavity filled, so half of my face is kind of numb. I'm taking you behind the scenes of the making of Creative Spaces TV. If you have no idea what this is, it is a docu-series that I shoot and edit and lives on this channel. It's a behind the scenes look of a day in the life of a creative. You get to see the studio they work out of and how they do what they do. One of my most asked questions is, what is your crew like? How many people do you have um, help you out? And it is actually just me. So I shoot the stuff, I edit it, I do everything from pre to post production. This is a project that I feel like should have been out in the world, like it's something that I wanted to watch. Doing everything by myself does get difficult at some times, but it's a lot of fun interacting with the artists and really having the freedom to do whatever. The second most asked question is how do you find these people? Do you email them? Do you text them? Are they friends? The first three episodes were the toughest because I did not have an example of what Creative Spaces TV was going to look like to show the prospective uh, creatives. But I had a lot of other videos to show them to show that I am a credible filmmaker and uh, for them to have confidence in the project that I was pitching to them. My first three artists actually came just from a good friend that I met while playing in the band at my church, Naomi. We met in Dallas and she had already moved to Nashville and I wasn't living in Nashville at the time, um, but she connected me to a filmmaker, a photographer, and an audio engineer. And once I booked uh, those people and they said yes, I just got in a car, drove up to Nashville, and filmed them. Once I had the first three episodes of Creative Spaces TV, it was much easier to uh, get the next episodes because I had something to show for uh, this project and there was credibility behind it and I I had gained a little bit of a following. So now I'm going to show you some behind the scenes footage of an episode that I shot with YouTuber and photographer Ted Forbes. I'll tell you a little bit about the gear that I use and how I went about the shoot. Hopefully this helps if you're interested in any type of documentary style filming that you personally want to do or if you're just interested in the process of you know behind the scenes because I love watching this type of stuff as well. You can be like, hey, creative spaces! <laughs> I had two of my friends tag along and shoot behind the scenes on RX100 Mark III point and shoots. I shot with two Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras. I had two angles for the interview portion and the rest of the talking clips were shot handheld. I shot with a wide lens that had image stabilization and kept the camera steady with my strap so shake wasn't an issue. Smooth pans were taken on a Manfrotto tripod and Manfrotto fluid video head and slides on the Canova K2 slider. I used the Rode Link Filmmaker Kit wireless lav system into my DR40 for audio. My studio needs to be an area that will let me easily kind of jump back and forth between those things when I'm sitting at the computer editing. For video work... Um, and Rode Video Mic Pro directly into my camera for backup audio. I will link the gear in the video description below. With every interview I conduct, I get better and a couple tips I would give to you if you're thinking about doing any type of interview style video. Yeah, interview style with the full sentences. And... One, don't be too quick to respond to their answer. Allow room for the interviewee to add thoughts and it also allows space so it's easier to edit and post. Number two, being interviewed is a little intimidating. Make sure to be positive and encouraging. Now I'm super yeah. self-conscious. Exactly, about. exactly. Because remember, the stuff at the end, I can always. Think. All right, all right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, awesome. So, what? Tell me a little about um, growing up. Yeah. Did you grow up in like an artsy home? How did it begin? How yes. did it all begin? Well, for me, uh, you know, I was very lucky. I was very lucky to be brought up in an artistic family. My dad uh, is still an illustrator, and was very successful in the seventies and eighties. Like, because I love. How a lot of people think that oh the internet makes us more secluded. Yeah. But I love how you're going like talking about how it actually creates community and you can talk to people and create oh, absolutely, relationships. Absolutely. And stuff. For all of my post production, since I shot with the Black Magic Pocket Cinema cameras in raw format, I uh, stitched the DNG files together in Resolve, and then from Resolve, I did everything else in Premiere CC. That's where I did the editing and the coloring. If you guys have any questions at all about documentary style shooting or specific specifically Creative Spaces TV, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer or you can uh, tweet me or any of that. I am in the middle of shooting season three of Creative Spaces TV right now and I'm so excited uh, to show you guys more uh, new episodes, hopefully slated for end of July, beginning of August. So stick around for that, hit that like and subscribe button if you want and I will see you guys in the next video.
my name is Ted Forbes. I'm a photographer and filmmaker. I live in Dallas, Texas, and I'm probably most known for the show that I do on YouTube called The Art of Photography. 